Polish Jezik Polski Polski listen Polchizna or simply Polski is a West Slavic language spoken primarily in Poland and is the native language of the Poles. It belongs to the Lechitic subgroup of the West Slavic languages. Polish is the official language of Poland, but it is also used by Polish minorities in other countries. There are over 50 million Polish language speakers around the world and it is one of the official languages of the European Union. Its written standard is the Polish alphabet, which has nine additions to the letters of the basic Latin script A, C, E, L, N, O, S, Z, Z. Polish is closely related to Kashubian, Silesian, Upper Sorbian, Lower Sorbian, Czech and Slovak. Although the Austrian, German and Russian administrations exerted much pressure on the Polish nation during the 19th and early 20th centuries following the partitions of Poland, which resulted in attempts to suppress the Polish language, a rich literature has regardless developed over the centuries and the language currently has the largest number of speakers of the West Slavic group. It is also the second most widely spoken Slavic language, after Russian and just ahead of Ukrainian. Historically, Polish is known to be an important language, both diplomatically and academically in Central and Eastern Europe. Today, Polish is spoken by over 38.5 million people as their first language in Poland. It is also spoken as a second language in northern Czech Republic and Slovakia, Hungary, western parts of Belarus and Ukraine, and central western Lithuania. Because of the emigration from Poland during different time periods, most notably after World War II, millions of Polish speakers can be found in countries such as Israel, Australia, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, the United States and New Zealand. History Polish began to emerge as a distinct language around the 10th century, the process largely triggered by the establishment and development of the Polish state. Mieszko I, ruler of the Poland's tribe from the Greater Poland region, united a few culturally and linguistically related tribes from the basins of the Vistula and Oder before eventually accepting baptism in 966. With Christianity, Poland also adopted the Latin alphabet, which made it possible to write down Polish, until then existing only as a spoken language. It is worth mentioning, writes Tomasz Kamusela, that Polish is the oldest, non-ecclesiastical, written Slavic language with a continuous tradition of literacy and official use, which has lasted unbroken from the 16th century to this day. The precursor to modern Polish is the Old Polish language. Ultimately, Polish is thought to descend from the unattested Proto-Slavic language. Polish was a lingua franca from 1500 to 1700 in central and small portions of Eastern Europe, because of the political, cultural, scientific and military influence of the former Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Book of Henrico Polish, Kasiega Henrykowska, Latin, Liber Fundationis Klostri Sancta Marie Virginis in Heinrichau, contains the earliest known sentence written in the Polish language, De, ut ia pobrusa, a ti poziwai pronounced originally as, daj, uk ja pobrusha, a ti pochowaj, modern Polish, daj, nic ja pomiel, a ti odpochowaj or poswol, z ja bied mel, a ti odpoksnij, English, come, let me grind, and you take a rest, written around 1270. The medieval recorder of this phrase, the Cistercian monk Peter of the Henrico Monastery, noted that, Hoc est in Polonico. This is in Polish. Geographic distribution Poland is the most linguistically homogeneous European country. Nearly 97% of Poland's citizens declare Polish as their first language. Elsewhere, Poles constitute large minorities in Lithuania, Belarus, and Ukraine. Polish is the most widely used minority language in Lithuania's Vilnius County, 26% of the population, according to the 2001 census results, with Vilnius having been part of Poland from 1922 until 1939 and is found elsewhere in southeastern Lithuania. In Ukraine it is most common in western Lviv and Volyn Oblasts, while in West Belarus it is used by the significant Polish minority, especially in the Brest and Grodno regions and in areas along the Lithuanian border. There are significant numbers of Polish speakers among Polish emigrants and their descendants in many other countries. In the United States, Polish Americans number more than 11 million but most of them cannot speak Polish fluently. 
According to the 2000 United States Census, 667,414 Americans of age 5 years and over reported Polish as the language spoken at home, which is about 1.4% of people who speak languages other than English, 0.25% of the U.S. population, and 6% of the Polish-American population. The largest concentrations of Polish speakers reported in the census over 50% were found in 3 states: Illinois 185,749, New York 111,740, and New Jersey 74,663. Enough people in these areas speak Polish that PNC Financial Services which has a large number of branches in all of these areas offer services available in Polish at all of their cash machines in addition to English and Spanish. According to the 2011 census there are now over 500,000 people in England and Wales who consider Polish to be their main language. In Canada, there is a significant Polish Canadian population. There are 242,885 speakers of Polish according to the 2006 census, with a particular concentration in Toronto, 91,810 speakers, and Montreal. The geographical distribution of the Polish language was greatly affected by the territorial changes of Poland immediately after World War II and Polish population transfers, 1944 to 46. Poles settled in the recovered territories in the west and north, which had previously been mostly German-speaking. Some Poles remained in the previously Polish-ruled territories in the east that were annexed by the USSR, resulting in the present-day Polish-speaking minorities in Lithuania, Belarus, and Ukraine, although many Poles were expelled or emigrated from those areas to areas within Poland's new borders. To the east of Poland, the most significant Polish minority lives in a long, narrow strip along either side of the Lithuania-Belarus border. Meanwhile, the flight and expulsion of Germans 1944-50, as well as the expulsion of Ukrainians and Operation Vistula, the 1947 forced resettlement of Ukrainian minorities to the recovered territories in the west of the country, contributed to the country's linguistic homogeneity. Dialects. <inaudible> <inaudible> The Polish language became far more homogeneous in the second half of the 20th century, in part due to the mass migration of several million Polish citizens from the eastern to the western part of the country after the Soviet annexation of the Kresy in 1939, and the annexation of former German territory after World War II. This tendency toward a homogeneity also stems from the vertically integrated nature of the Polish People's Republic. The inhabitants of different regions of Poland still speak standard. Polish somewhat differently, although the differences between regional dialects appear slight. First language speakers of Polish have no trouble understanding each other, and non-native speakers may have difficulty distinguishing regional variations. Polish is normally described as consisting of four or five main dialects. Greater Polish, spoken in the west Lesser Polish, spoken in the south and southeast Masovian, spoken throughout the central and eastern parts of the country. Silesian, spoken in the southwest, also considered a separate language. See comment below. Kashubian, spoken in Pomerania west of Gdansk on the Baltic Sea, is often considered a fifth dialect. It contains a number of features not found elsewhere in Poland, e.g. nine distinct oral vowels versus the five of standard Polish and in the northern dialects phonemic word stress, an archaic feature preserved from common Slavic times and not found anywhere else among the West Slavic languages. However, it lacks most of the linguistic and social determinants of languagehood. Many linguistic sources about the Slavic languages describe Silesian as a dialect of Polish. However, many Silesians consider themselves a separate ethnicity and have been advocating for the recognition of a Silesian language. According to the last official census in Poland in 2011, over half a million people declared Silesian as their native language. Many sociolinguistic sources e.g. by Tomasz Kamusela, Agnieszka Pianka, Alfred F. Majewicz, Tomasz Wicherkiewicz assume that extralinguistic criteria decide whether something is a language or a dialect of the language, users of speech or, and political decisions, and this is dynamic i.e. it changes over time. Also, language organizations such as SIL International and resources for the academic field of linguistics such as Ethnologue, Linguist List and others, for example the Ministry of Administration and Digitization recognized the Silesian language. 
In July 2007, the Silesian language was recognized by an ISO, and was attributed an ISO code of SZL. Some additional characteristic but less widespread regional dialects include The distinctive dialect of the Gorals occurs in the mountainous area bordering the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The Gorals Highlanders take great pride in their culture and the dialect. It exhibits some cultural influences from the Vlach shepherds who migrated from Wallachia southern Romania in the 14th–17th centuries. The Poznansky dialect, spoken in Poznan and to some extent in the whole region of the former Prussian partition excluding Upper Silesia, with noticeable German influences. In the northern and western formerly German regions where Poles from the territories annexed by the Soviet Union resettled after World War II, the older generation speaks a dialect of Polish characteristic of the Kresy that includes a longer pronunciation of vowels. Poles living in Lithuania particularly in the Vilnius region, in Belarus particularly the northwest, and in the northeast of Poland continue to speak the eastern borderlands dialect, which sounds slushed, in Polish described as Zosiogony z Ruska speaking with a Ruthenian drawl, and is easily distinguishable. Some city dwellers, especially the less affluent population, had their own distinctive dialects, for example, the Warsaw dialect, still spoken by some of the population of Praga on the eastern bank of the Vistula. Praga remained the only part of Warsaw where the population survived World War II relatively intact, however, these city dialects are now mostly extinct due to assimilation with standard Polish. Many Poles living in emigrant communities for example, in the USA, whose families left Poland just after World War II, retain a number of minor features of Polish vocabulary as spoken in the first half of the 20th century that now sound archaic to contemporary visitors from Poland. Phonology Polish has six oral vowels all monophthongs and two nasal vowels. The oral vowels are i, spelled i, spelled y, spelled e, a, spelled o, spelled o, and u, spelled u or o. The nasal vowels are spelled e and spelled a. The Polish consonant system shows more complexity. Its characteristic features include the series of affricate and palatal consonants that resulted from four Proto-Slavic palatalizations and two further palatalizations that took place in Polish and Belarusian. The full set of consonants, together with their most common spellings, can be presented as follows although other phonological analyses exist. Stops, p, p, b, b, t, t, d, d, k, k, g, and the palatalized forms, k, k, and, g. Fricatives, f, f, v, w, s, s, z, z, s, z, z, r, z, the alveolopalatals, s, c, and, Z, Z, and X, CH, H, and X, Chi, Hi. Africates, TS, C, DZ, DZ, CZ, D, DZ, C, C, D, DZ, DZI. These are written here without ties for browser display compatibility, although Polish does distinguish between africates as in CZY, and stop fricative clusters as in TRZY. Nasals per meter, M, N, 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 N Approximants L L J J with L trill R R neutralization occurs between voiced voiceless consonant pairs in certain environments at the end of words where devoicing occurs and in certain consonant clusters where assimilation occurs. For details, see voicing and devoicing in the article on Polish phonology. Most Polish words are paroxytones, that is, the stress falls on the second to last syllable of a polysyllabic word, although there are exceptions. Orthography The Polish alphabet derives from the Latin script, but includes certain additional letters formed using diacritics. The Polish alphabet was one of three major forms of Latin-based orthography developed for Slavic languages, the others being Czech orthography and Croatian orthography, the latter being a 19th-century invention trying to make a compromise between the first two. Kashubian uses a Polish-based system, Slovak uses a Czech-based system, and Slovene follows the Croatian one, the Sorbian languages blend the Polish and the Czech ones. The diacritics used in the Polish alphabet are the kreska graphically similar to the acute accent in the letters C, N, O, S, Z and through the letter in L, the kropka superior dot in the letter Z, and the ogonic little tail in the letters A, E. 
The letters Q, V, X are often not considered part of the Polish alphabet, they are used only in foreign words and names. Polish orthography is largely phonemic. There is a consistent correspondence between letters or digraphs and trigraphs and phonemes for exception see below. The letters of the alphabet and their normal phonemic values are listed in the following table. The following digraphs and trigraphs are used. Voiced consonant letters frequently come to represent voiceless sounds as shown in the tables. This occurs at the end of words and in certain clusters due to the neutralization mentioned in the phonology section above. Occasionally also voiceless consonant letters can represent voiced sounds in clusters. The spelling rule for the palatal sounds d, and, is as follows, before the vowel i the plain letters s, z, c, d, z, n are used, before other vowels the combinations c, z, c, d, z, i, n are used, when not followed by a vowel the diacritic forms s, z, c, d, z, n are used. For example, the s in siwi, gray-haired, the c in siarka, Sulfur, and the s in Schwente, holy, all represent the sound. The exceptions to the above rule are certain loanwords from Latin, Italian, French, Russian, or English, where s before i is pronounced as s, e.g. sinus, sinologia, do re mi fa sola si do, Saint Simon i Saint Simonishi, Sirioza, Sirgij, Singapur, Singil. In other loanwords, the vowel i is changed to y, e.g. Syria, Sibir, Synchronization, Syracuse. The following table shows the correspondence between the sounds and spelling. Digraphs and trigraphs are used. Similar principles apply to k, x, and l, except that these can only occur before vowels, so the spellings are k, g, c, h, l before i, and ki, g, c, hi, li otherwise. Most Polish speakers, however, do not consider palatalization of K, G, C, H or L as creating new sounds. Except in the cases mentioned above, the letter I if followed by another vowel in the same word usually represents J, yet a palatalization of the previous consonant is always assumed. The letters A and E, when followed by plosives and affricates, represent an oral vowel followed by a nasal consonant, rather than a nasal vowel. For example, A in dab, oak is pronounced m and e in texa rainbow is pronounced n the nasal assimilates to the following consonant when followed by l or l for example prezieli prezieli e is pronounced as just e when e is at the end of the word it is often pronounced as just note that depending on the word the phoneme x can be spelt h or ch the phoneme can be spelt z or rz and u can be spelt u or o in several cases it determines the meaning, for example, mos, maybe, and mors, see. In occasional words, letters that normally form a digraph are pronounced separately. For example, rz represents rz, not in words like zamarzik, freeze, and in the name tarzan. Notice that doubled letters represent separate occurrences of the sound in question, for example Anna is pronounced, Anna, in Polish the double N is often pronounced as a lengthened single N. There are certain clusters where a written consonant would not be pronounced. For example, the L in the words mogul, could, and jabalko, apple, might be omitted in ordinary speech, leading to the pronunciations muk and japko or jabko. Grammar Polish is a highly inflected language, with relatively free word order, although the dominant arrangement is subject-verb-object There are no articles, and subject pronouns are often dropped. Nouns belong to one of three genders, masculine, feminine and neuter. A distinction is also made between animate and inanimate masculine nouns in the singular, and between masculine personal and non-masculine personal nouns in the plural. There are seven cases, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, instrumental, locative and vocative. Adjectives agree with nouns in terms of gender, case and number. Attributive adjectives most commonly precede the noun, although in certain cases, especially in fixed phrases like Jezik Polski, Polish language, the noun may come first. The rule of thumb is that generic descriptive adjective normally precedes e.g. piknikwiat, beautiful flower, while categorizing adjective often follows the noun e.g. wegiel kamini, black coal. Most short adjectives and their derived adverbs form comparatives and superlatives by inflection. The superlative is formed by prefixing naj to the comparative. 
Verbs are of imperfective or perfective aspect, often occurring in pairs. Imperfective verbs have a present tense, past tense, compound future tense except for bike, to be, which has a simple future beat etc. This in turn being used to form the compound future of other verbs, subjunctive, conditional formed with the detachable particle by, imperatives, and infinitive, present participle, present gerund and past participle. Perfective verbs have a simple future tense formed like the present tense of imperfective verbs, past tense, subjunctive, conditional, imperatives, infinitive, present gerund and past participle. Conjugated verb forms agree with their subject in terms of person, number, and in the case of past tense and subjunctive, conditional forms gender. Passive type constructions can be made using the auxiliary bike or zostak become with the passive participle. There is also an impersonal construction where the active verb is used in third person singular with no subject, but with the reflexive pronoun psi present to indicate a general, unspecified subject as in page psi wadki. Vodka is drunk. Note that vodka appears in the accusative. A similar sentence type in the past tense uses the passive participle with the ending o, as in Widziano Ludzi. People were seen. As in other Slavic languages, there are also subjectless sentences formed using such words as mazna, it is possible, together with an infinitive. Yes, no questions, both direct and indirect, are formed by placing the word czy at the start. Negation uses the word ni, before the verb or other item being negated, ni is still added before the verb even if the sentence also contains other negatives such as nigdi, never, or nik, nothing, effectively creating a double negative. Cardinal numbers have a complex system of inflection and agreement. Zero and cardinal numbers higher than five except for those ending with the digit two, three or four but not ending with twelve, thirteen or fourteen govern the genitive case rather than the nominative or accusative. Special forms of numbers collective numerals are used with certain classes of noun, which include jiko, child, and exclusively plural nouns such as drzwi, door. Topic. Borrowed words Polish has, over the centuries, borrowed a number of words from other languages. When borrowing, pronunciation was adapted to Polish phonemes and spelling was altered to match Polish orthography. In addition, word endings are liberally applied to almost any word to produce verbs, nouns, adjectives, as well as adding the appropriate endings for cases of nouns, adjectives, diminutives, double diminutives, augmentatives, etc. Depending on the historical period, borrowing has proceeded from various languages. Notable influences have been Latin 9th 18th centuries, Czech 10th and 14th 15th centuries, Italian 15th 16th centuries, French 18th 19th centuries, German 13th 15th and 18th 20th centuries, Hungarian 14th 16th centuries and Turkish 17th century. Currently, English words are the most common imports to Polish. The Latin language, for a very long time the only official language of the Polish state, has had a great influence on Polish. Many Polish words from publica were direct borrowings from Latin. Latin was known to a larger or smaller degree by most of the numerous Zalakta in the 16th to 18th centuries and it continued to be extensively taught at secondary schools until World War II. Apart from dozens of loanwords, its influence can also be seen in a number of verbatim Latin phrases in Polish literature especially from the 19th century and earlier. During the 12th and 13th centuries, Mongolian words were brought to the Polish language during wars with the armies of Genghis Khan and his descendants, e.g. D. Zita and Shurig a line or row. Words from Czech, an important influence during the 10th and 14th 15th centuries include Sejm, Hanba and Brahma. In 1518, the Polish king Sigismund I the Old married Bona Sforza, the niece of the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian, who introduced Italian cuisine to Poland, especially vegetables. Hence, words from Italian include pomodor from pomodoro, tomato, califior from cavolfiori, cauliflower, and pomerancia, a portmanteau from Italian pomo, pom plus arancio, orange. A later word of Italian origin is autostrada from Italian, autostrada, highway. In the 18th century, with the rising prominence of France in Europe, French supplanted Latin as an important source of words. 
Some French borrowings also date from the Napoleonic era, when the Poles were enthusiastic supporters of Napoleon. Examples include écrin from French, écrin, screen, abazur, abat jour, lamp shade, requin, requin, shark, mebel, mubel, furniture, bagas, baggage, luggage, waliska, valise, suitcase, fotel, fotil, armchair, plaza, plage, beach, and cosmar, couchmar, nightmare. Some place names have also been adapted from French, such as the Warsaw borough of Zollibers, Jolie Board, equals beautiful riverside, as well as the town of Zyradau from the name Gerard, with the Polish suffix au attached to refer to the founder of the town. Many words were borrowed from the German language from the sizable German population in Polish cities during medieval times. German words found in the Polish language are often connected with trade, the building industry, civic rights and city life. Some words were assimilated verbatim, for example handel trade and dach roof. Others are pronounced the same, but differ in writing schnur s -z -n -u -r, cord. As a result of being neighbors with Germany, Polish has many German expressions which have become literally translated calcs". The regional dialects of Upper Silesia and Masuria modern Polish East Prussia have noticeably more German loanwords than other dialects. The contacts with Ottoman Turkey in the 17th century brought many new words, some of them still in use, such as, jar, yar, deep valley, shashlik, sislik, shish kebab, filijanka, fincan, cup, arbas, karpuz, watermelon, diwan, divan, carpet, etc. From the founding of the Kingdom of Poland in 1025 through the early years of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth created in 1569, Poland was the most tolerant country of Jews in Europe. Known as the Paradise for the Jews, it became a shelter for persecuted and expelled European Jewish communities and the home to the world's largest Jewish community of the time. As a result, many Polish words come from Yiddish, spoken by the large Polish Jewish population that existed until the Holocaust. Borrowed Yiddish words include bachor, an unruly boy or child, bajzel, slang for mess, belfer, slang for teacher, chuchi, slang for clothing, simis, slang for very tasty food, geschäft, slang for business, keitel, slang for apron, makloika, slang for scam, mamona, money, manali, slang for oddments, misogyne, slang for lunatic, pinda, slang for girl, pejoratively, plajta, slang for bankruptcy, rijwash, noise, sz mal, slang for money, and trefni, dodgy. The mountain dialects of the Gorel in southern Poland, have quite a number of words borrowed from Hungarian e.g. Baka, Gazda, Jewas, Hegnal and Romanian as a result of historical contacts with Hungarian-dominated Slovakia and Wallachian herders who traveled north along the Carpathians. Thieves slang includes such words as kimik to sleep or majkur knife of Greek origin, considered then unknown to the outside world. Recent loanwords come primarily from the English language, mainly those that have Latin or Greek roots, for example computer, computer korupka from corruption, but sense restricted to bribery, etc. Concatenation of parts of words e.g. auto-moto, which is not native to Polish but common in English, for example, is also sometimes used. When borrowing English words, Polish often changes their spelling. For example, Latin suffix tio corresponds to cja. To make the word plural, CJA becomes CJE. Examples of this include inauguratia inauguration, dewastasha devastation, receptia reception, conurbatia conurbation, and konatakje connotations. Also, the digraph ku becomes KW quadrant. Topic: Quadrant quorum. Quorum. Topic. Loanwords from Polish The Polish language has influenced others. Particular influences appear in other Slavic languages and in German—due to their proximity and shared borders. Examples of loanwords include German grens border, Dutch and Afrikaans grens from Polish granica, German pietsker from Polish piscors weatherfish, German zobel, French zibeline, Swedish sabel, and English sable from Polish sobel, and ogonek. Little tail. The word describing a diacritic hook sign added below some letters in various alphabets. S Z Mata, a Polish, Slovak, and Ruthenian word for mop or rag, became part of Yiddish. 
Quite a few culinary loanwords exist in German and in other languages, some of which describe distinctive features of Polish cuisine. These include German and English quark from Tuarog, a kind of fresh cheese, see quark dairy product, and German gurk, English gherkin from Ogoric cucumber. The word pierogi, Polish dumplings, has spread internationally as well as punchki, Polish donuts, and kielbasa, sausage, ceg kolbaso in Esperanto. As far as pierogi concerned, the original Polish word is already in plural sink, pierog, plural pierogi, stem pierog, plural ending i, n b, o becomes o in a closed syllable, like here in singular, yet it is commonly used with the English plural ending s in Canada and United States of America, pierogies, thus making it a double plural. A similar situation happened in the opposite direction to the Polish loanword from English zipsy, potato chips. From English chips being already plural in the original chip plus s, yet it has obtained the Polish plural ending y. The word spruce entered the English language from the Polish name of Prusy, a historical region, today part of Poland. It became spruce because in Polish, z prus, sounded like spruce, in English, transl, from Prussia, and was a generic term for commodities brought to England by Hanseatic merchants and because the tree was believed to have come from Polish ducal Prussia. Topic. See also Adam Mickiewicz Institute Holy Cross Sermons University of Lodz School of Polish for Foreigners Slavic Languages West Slavic Languages West Slavs Slavs Slavic Vocabulary A Translation Guide to 19th Century Polish Language Civil Registration Documents Babel Speech Corpus Topic. References Topic. Further reading Bisko, Wakla Moami po Polska. A Beginner's Course of Polish DT book, translated and adapted by Stanisław Krinsky. Warsaw, Wiedza Pausichna, Place. Sadowska, Ivona. 2012. Polish: A Comprehensive Grammar. Oxford, New York: Routledge. ISBN 9780415475419. Swan, Oscar E. 2002. A Grammar of Contemporary Polish. Bloomington, Indiana: Slavica. ISBN 0-89357-296-9. Topic. External links. Interpreting Translation Polish English Site Basic Polish Phrases Basic Polish Phrases Audio Course Polish Pronunciation Audio and Grammar Charts King's College London – Polish Language Resources University of Pittsburgh – Polish Language Website A Touch of Polish – BBC A Grammar of the Polish Language a Concise Polish Grammar, by Ronald F. Feldstein 110 page 600 KB PDF Oscar Swan's Electronic Polish English, English Polish Dictionary English Polish Online Dictionary Basic English Polish Dictionary Big English Polish Dictionary with example sentences from translation memories Polish Swadesh List of Basic Vocabulary Words from Wiktionary's Swadesh List Appendix Learn Polish List of online Polish courses Polish-English word list, 600 terms A taste of linguistic diversity of contemporary Poland, culture.pl Kelly Project word list 9000 most useful words for learners of Polish Dictionaries 24. Com online dictionary with English-Polish and Polish-English translations